Hello everyone and welcome to section 5 of the course, Penetration Testing with Metasploit. So before we get started with this section, let's take a look at what we'll be looking at in this section. So starting off with the first video, we'll be taking a look at information gathering with Metasploit and Nmap. So I'm going to be showing you how to perform information gathering and footprinting and essentially performing OS and service detection, scanning for open ports, etc, etc. And I'll be showing you how to utilize or how to use Nmap within the Metasploit framework console. All right, we'll then move on to the exploitation section. We will be looking at the exploitation process and we'll be performing a real world exploitation on an actual exploit and I'll be showing you how to do it all the way from the discovery of the service, performing vulnerability analysis and searching for exploits and then finally using the exploit to give us or to perform the exploitation on the target with a given vulnerability. All right, we'll finally end this section with learning how to spawn a TTY shell or a terminal shell on the exploited target that will give you complete and full access to the system in which you have performed the exploitation on. So in general, we'll be looking at all the important sections of performing your penetration test. And the great thing about this is we're going to be looking at how it's done, similar to what we would do in the real world, performing a penetration test on an actual service or an actual system. So we'll be performing information gathering, we'll perform our vulnerability analysis, uh, we'll exploit the target, and then we'll learn how to spawn a TTY shell. In this video, we're going to get started with performing a simple scan and enumeration on our target. Now that being said, we are going to be using Nmap in relation or in collaboration with Metasploit uh, so that we can utilize the framework for performing information gathering and footprinting in regards to our target. We're going to be using Nmap to find the different services running on our target, which in this case is going to be Metasploitable too. So we're going to find vulnerabilities on the target. And then uh, as we move along in this section, we're going to be exploiting them further and further. All right, so let's get started. So Make sure you have initialized your Metasploit database. And uh, once that is done, you can start the Metasploit framework console. So I'm going to start that up right now. Let me just expand that so we have a good or better picture of what's going on. So make sure you've started the PostgreSQL service and the Metasploit database. And that will give us a direct access, unhindered access into the Metasploit framework console. All right, so we can use Nmap within Metasploit. It does allow that. And we can also utilize the Metasploit database with Nmap to store our data there. Now we are going to be looking at different types of commands that we can use or different types of scans that we can perform on our target. Now, of course, the most simple scan that we can perform on our target is obviously going to be a scan that will not have any other parameters that we're going to specify. So if we just take a look at our target, we can see that it can be through machine and I do have the local IP set up or displayed right here. Now, when we talk about network discovery and information gathering and fingerprinting, performing network discovery on your local network can be done very, very simply using a tool called NetDiscover. So if I was to just open up my terminal and this tool comes pre-installed in Kali Linux. So if I just open up my terminal here and I wanted to find out what the IP address of the Metasploitable 2 virtual machine is, I would use the NetDiscover tool. So specify the interface and that is done by specifying the I command. And in this case, it's going to be Ethernet 0. All right, so I'm going to hit enter and it's going to start scanning our network in the form of request packets and uh, the response packets are going to be sent by the devices on our network. And uh, we're looking for a VMware device right here. Of course, it's not going to scan our computer as the host. So you can see we have a VMware host up and running here and that we can confirm is the Metasploitable 2 virtual machine. So we have the IP address, the MAC address and the MAC vendor or the host name. All right, which in this case is VMware. So once you're done with that, you can just hit Control plus C on your keyboard to close that. And now that we know our target, we can open up the Metasploit framework again. Let me just close this up and we can get started. So I'm just gonna clear the terminal there. And uh, now to get started with our basic scan. Basic scan with Nmap is going to be like so, and we just type in the IP of the target. So 192.168.1.107. And essentially what we're doing is we're scanning our target to see what services are available, what ports are open, and then we'll perform a bit of vulnerability analysis to see what services we can exploit. All right, so I'm going to perform this simple scan. And as you can see, this will scan for thousands of the most common ports that are used on default systems hosts. So you can see it will give you a summary in regards to how fast the scan was completed in. 
and the summary of how many ports were scanned and how many are open. So you can see it's scanned for the thousand of the most popular ports or the ports that are used for the most common services. And you can see that 977 were closed. So the ports and their services are sorted out really, really simply. You have your port, the state of the port and the service. All right. So in this case, you can see the port is displayed right here. So for example, we have port 21. You then have the protocol of the port, which in this case is TCP. You then have the state. The state of the port can be either open, closed or filtered. Now you can see that this scan will display only the open one, which is what we wanted. And finally, the service will display what service is running on uh, these ports. So you can see that for the uh, port 21, we have FTP, which is the correct port for FTP. You then have the SSH and you have your telnet, you have your domain, you have your PostgreSQL database. So from here, you can get an idea of what ports are open and what services you can try and target or attack. Now, of course, this is not giving us any important information in regards to the service software version, which can also give us hints as to what services might be vulnerable to an attack. So how do we perform operating system and service detection or service and OS detection as it's called with Nmap? So to do that, we can either specify a, a very simple command again. So you can say Nmap. And then this time we specify the argument a capital A, which essentially means it's going to detect the operating system of the host or the server and the services running on these different ports. When I say services, it means the specific versions of the services. So for example, if it's FTP, what FTP software version is running on that? So we enter in our target 192.168.1.107. And the purpose of this is to get a good understanding of what services are running. And then when we we'll perform vulnerability analysis, you can then get a good idea of what services you can exploit. All right. So I'm going to hit enter and it's going to start the scan. So give that a few seconds to start the scan. And once the scan is complete, of course, with this scan, it's going to take a bit longer because it is enumerating all the service versions and the operating system information, which is also very important because you'll get a better picture of what operating system is running on the target. And that again can lead you to an increased information or knowledge in regards to the target and what software and what uh, operating system it's running. So you can see that once we performed the scan in regards to OS detection and service detection, it will again scan for a thousand ports. And now for each port will give you the software version. So you can see as for the software version here, we have VSFTPD, which we have already exploited in the exploitation section. Now, in this case, we are going to be focusing on the Unreal IRC, the Unreal IRC port right here, which I'll get to in a second, this one right here. Now this service is vulnerable to an attack, which we'll get to once we move on to the exploitation section. But you can see from performing this scan, it will give you a summary of all the services running on the ports and the software versions running on those ports. So for example, for SSH, we have VSFTBD. Let's look at another port here that might give us a better idea of what's going on. So for example, you have another FTP port open, uh, which is using the Pro FTPD. Uh, software version right here. You can try that out for yourself. We know this is vulnerable and by design Metasploitable 2 is going to be vulnerable to all these attacks. So if we were to perform a bit of vulnerability analysis, let's say we were targeting the Unreal IRC service here, we would copy the name of the service or the service version and we can open up our browser here really, really simply and uh, we can search for an exploit for this service. So just give that a second to start up. My virtual machine isn't really working that well today it's really really lagging out so we'll give that a few seconds to open and uh, right in here we can paste the name unreal irc and we type in exploit all right so exploit like so and uh, we're going to perform a simple google search and as you can see we want to go to the link rapid7.com which is the company that or the firm that owns metasploit so this will give you a direct access to the exploit name in regards to the exploit so you can see it'll give you the exploit name or the exploit module uh, the module name rather that you can use in Metasploit. So this is what we'll be using. And again, I'll be demonstrating how to use or how to search for this exploit in the Metasploit framework console in the next video when we'll be looking at exploiting this service. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. In this video, we looked at how to perform information gathering, footprinting, and network discovery all with Nmap, NetDiscover, and obviously using Nmap in correlation or in relation with Metasploit or the Metasploit framework console.